Oh hey and welcome to What The Math. Today's topic is the order of operations and basically this is what we used to call or still call bad math or some of you may know as PEMDAS and I really 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 don't like either one of these so let's not ever use it again. Instead we're going to come up with something that's more meaningful and more fun for you. So I had this good idea of having my brilliant students create uh, various posters of uh, basically orders of operations where they chose their own mnemonics, their own memory devices to help them remember what the order is. And let's actually look at four of these uh, in more detail. Although actually what I forgot to ask them is what the names of their posters are, so I'm going to have to make up my own names for these. Alright, so let's, let's start with this one. Uh, this one looks like a cat, so I'm going to call it a math cat. And the way math kind of works is that whenever you draw a face, you always start with the face and these are your brackets, they come first. Then you draw the ears and these are your exponents. That's number two. Then you draw the eyes and that's multiplication and division. And that's three and four. And then finally you add and subtract and this is five and six. So I thought that was a pretty brilliant way of expressing orders of operations. Let's look at number two. And this is number two, and uh, this looks like some kind of a dynasty or imperial system, so I'll just call it that, imperial math. Now, how does imperial math work? Well, at number one, we have our parentheses, and these are the king and the queen, right here. Then at number two, we have our exponents, and these are the nobility. These are uh, the people right under the king and the queen. At number three, we have our warriors and protectors, and these are our multiplication and division. And finally, at number four, the slaves and the criminals. These are um, our addition and multiplication. And that's imperial math. And then at number three, we have this beautiful uh, dinosaur-looking dragon thing with fire and mantis-looking cute little arms. So let's call this um, survival of the mathist. As in the fittest, but it's the mathist. So first, the dinosaur itself is the brackets, that's one. Then the dinosaur eats the snake, and the snake is the exponents, that's two. Then the snake actually already ate a chick, and that's three. And then finally, we have the ant of addition and subtraction that has been eaten by the chick. So that was a pretty cool way of expressing orders of operations as well. The last way we have the super math. And this is a cool looking superhero that will tell you everything about order of operations. So at number one, it, this is his face, his laser vision, and the parentheses. Number two, the fist of power, the exponents. Number three, the left fist of power, uh, the multiplication and the division. And he stands firmly on addition and sub subtraction, that's number four. So these are pretty awesome mnemonics, hopefully they'll help you remember the order of operations. And if not, Go with the bad mass and bad mass, but don't don't do it. Don't do it. Do the visual one instead. It will help you remember things better. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. Bye bye. Good luck.